Hello! Welcome back to a new video. It's been a long time. The last time I updated you, I was taking my bachelor's and in nature and environmental science. And since then, I have finished that and I'm on my first year uh, in my master's in uh, ecology and environmental science. Uh, this video is going to be a packing video for India. It be, it's basically just me showing you the process of me packing, what I'm figuring out while packing and what I ended up bringing with me. I'm going in two days and I'm so excited. I'm going to be there for two weeks um, and I'm talking more about it in the video while packing. <laughs> it's, it's a little messy because uh, I never packed for this kind of trip before. It's a long travel, it's a long trip, it's uh, quite different going on a vacation and going on a school trip. <laughs> so yeah, you can see me change what I'm packing quite a few times. Uh, that's the process. Uh, but I'm showing you what to bring when it comes to insurance, uh, files and documentations, what clothes I choose to bring, my main luggage and my um, travel and my carry-on luggage on the plane, uh, some tips and tricks of what to, medications I was recommended to take beforehand. All those things are included in the video, so I hope that you like it and that you can get something out of it. I'm going to India in two weeks. Uh, I'm leaving in nine days. I'm staying there for two weeks. Uh, working with Soil Health, One Health, uh, Nivasum, and uh, yeah, bioinformatics, biochar, a lot of these things that I don't really know too much about yet. Um, I wish I'd taken a few more classes, or it's actually been just one class that we could take that had something to do about this, and I didn't take it for some reason. And I slightly regret it now, but I think um, we're going to learn everything that's uh, necessary. And uh, I'm also going to work my ass off. So the reason I wanted to make this video was because this has been a really stressful period. Because I don't like new things, but I also like to challenge myself. So I'm weird that way. And also, I love, I love doc documenting stuff. And... I really like filming. I just don't like to see myself on camera. Uh, but I thought, just fuck it. And uh, also, I, when I try to, and also in preparation for this trip, I try to find a lot of videos about what to pack and uh, smart hacks and stuff. And it wasn't really that much. It was a lot of videos talking about the same things, what to expect going to India which I don't know anything about yet and um, maybe a video on that later but it wasn't really much about what to bring in your suitcase and what to pack and I learned a few things now and probably going to learn more when I come down there and forgot something but uh, yeah when you're from Norway going to India there's a lot of changes it's nothing alike at all so there's a lot of things to think about first of all i needed a lot of vaccines i took a drinking vaccine today uh, um for cholera and i also took uh, i've taken rabies hepatitis a b all this stuff um there was a lot of vaccines that i wanted to take you don't need to take all of them we are going to work in the field so i wanted to be as protected as possible and I'm taking, I'm taking the four dose of uh, COVID, also not so, uh, something that you need to do. Um, I wanted to line up all the vaccines that I've taken here uh, because I don't remember all of them right now. But yeah, there's, these are the vaccines that I chose to take before the trip and was recommended to take before the trip. I also wanted to show you a few things that I was going to pack. I have this big as list that I'm... And taking with me or that I'm filming now so I have this bag with me where I have either form and <laughs> medium comp which is for you know if your stomach reacts to some stuff in inconvenient places and 
speaking about that, I was also recommended to bring a lot of toilet paper, which for me, I am going in nine days and I learned this yesterday. I knew that the bathroom situation was very different in India than it is in Norway. We use a lot of toilet paper, flush it down, don't even think about it, but that's not really how it is in India. So I don't know how much I'm going to take with me as much as possible. I think I'm going to like drop a few clothing items because I'm so scared I'm going to be sick and not have the opportunity to wipe. <laughs> uh, I also bring with me some malaria medication or tablets that I'm going to take one day before going there and a week after. And since we're going to the field, I bring uh, a mosquito spray with 50% DEET and also, of course, sunscreen and after sun when it comes to when it comes to being safe i also bring this first aid kit that i was recommended uh, taking with me just some basic band-aids and stuff like that so hand sanitations and uh, masks is something that i'm going to bring with me in my hand bag and i'm also going to show you what i'm taking with me in my um, uh, luggage on the on the plane my hand luggage yeah but firstly, I'm going to show you just a little bit of the documentations that I'm going to bring. Obviously, your passport is always uh, very important. And I have all these documents that I'm going to put in uh, a folder and put in my both in my bag and in my luggage, which is my plane tickets, my visa and my uh, uh, passport in case I lose it and also I wanted to bring with me um, uh, my COVID uh, passport as well and other than that MasterCard is very important and your uh, travel insurance health insurance all that very important that was also something that was stressful all the things that you needed to fix another thing I wanted to bring was uh, a vaccine passport which you don't need because everything is online now but I want it just in case when it comes to the dress code things are very different in Norway if you want in Norway you can use whatever you want in school if you want a crop top or pajamas they don't care but in India we're recommended to use uh, we're recommended to follow a certain dress code where we don't show any shoulders or knees and nothing see-through and no like leverage and stuff um, so I want to be respectful and not uh, break those dress codes but you can see that I started here but I'm very I'm contemplating everything that I put in here but now I put uh, I bought some long tights that I can that I can have under skirts that is going down to my chin here uh, so that I don't need to <laughs> buy so many new dresses and I also bought, brought a few t-shirts and biker shorts and I think that's the most important thing. I also wanted to bring a summer jacket that I, I don't know if I'm going to need it and I am going to travel in a jacket uh, and I also wanted to bring this long uh, pants that I can use in the field. This is the final product. I used a lot of bags like these to put um, some cotton pads and things like that uh, to um, for my wounds if I get hurt in the field and I put everything like this sunscreens and stuff like that in bags. I did end up uh, bringing one hat two pair of shoes and the ones that I take with me so an extra pair in case my feet hurt and some uh, sandals I brought with me two dresses because I'm going to buy down there two sweaters including the one that I have 
on me when I'm going. Uh, I did end up taking uh, five or six tops, which is probably quite a lot, but um, that's what I wanted to do in case I'm sweating and I can also use it to sleep in. I'm bringing up pajamas, three skirts, six toilet paper rolls, maybe I put in even more <laughs> and all the wipes that I showed you. Uh, my underwear, I put in other bags here. I don't need to show you that. And the bag with medicine, put everything in bags like this. And I'm also bringing with me, these are the things that I'm going to put in last minute. So it's uh, other hygiene stuff. And this is some lunch boxes for the days that we're not on campus. Um, my racer and my diary. So this is things that I'm going to put in last minute. That's why it's messy. This is my handbag or my luggage on the plane, which I have masks, a hand sanitizer, extra pair of uh, underwear and shift, a dress that I'm going to change to at the airport, this pillow, my headset I'm going to have around my neck, uh, and the uh, all my documentation in so i'm pretty happy with the results i feel like uh, i have quite enough of clothes and i feel really pre prepared i'm also bringing some nuts in here i have a little bag here's my passport my documentation i have um my travel insurance card i have in my phone um uh, yeah so that's what I'm bringing to India, quite a process. The thing that I didn't show you was um, this little uh, sleeping bag uh, and something to clean my um, clothes in the sink, a little a mosquito hat, net thing over my hat. The bag is just the basics, a little eyeshadow, some foundation, just the bare minimum. And the same thing for um, hygiene. As I said, things I'm going to bring last minute is my razor, my deodorant, my skincare. So that's why I have it here because I'm going to use it the following days, of course. But I brought some <laughs> tampons, a toothbrush, so bars and a gel shower gel and that's it thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was informative and helpful um as i said in the video i really want to update you after the trip maybe maybe there was something that i forgot to do maybe there were some preparations that was very important and helpful uh, so i can make a video about that when i come home other than that this is just my tips and tricks before going that I got from other people and my school so it might not apply for you maybe you don't want to take the medications that I took or the vaccines that I took and that's okay this is just my tips so yeah hope you liked the video and I'll talk to you soon